Warning, warning, warning. This video and all the other videos on the Family Friendly Podcast YouTube channel are not family friendly and therefore should not be viewed by viewers under the age of 13. The Family Friendly Podcast's name is simply a joke playing off the contents of the channel being the opposite of family friendly. With that being said, enjoy this video. Hello super fans, today we're going to be playing Ape Escape. Uh, here is the main character, Spike. He's looking really cool. Like, oh, watch out! Oh, you got, he got him. Spike got him, man. So, I don't really know much about this game, but I'm here. I am. I'm an ape, and I'm escaping. I assume that's that's why people like this game. So they like it for the uh, for the realistic escape of ape simulation. Yeah. Look at this. Dude, you can rotate the Pentagon. <laughs> you ever see that video? Yeah. <laughs> With the phone launcher. <laughs> we can control the Pentagon. <laughs> Look at these cool 3D effects. Dude, I'm just going absolute monkey mode on the- I think this is the strat, just sticking close to like the fence here. I think that's the strat, cause then it means I can have something very easily I can bonk people into. And it seems like- I can bonk their skulls. People don't tip- like, they don't typically spawn or like hang out around the edges as much as they do in like the center. I would love to play a Minecraft puzzle match with uh, you, but I can't. Yeah, because port forwarding is hard to set up. Yeah. I, 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 I swear, I try like one time every year at least, just like to try and set up port forwarding and it never works. I think Mojang should just like explain. They have, the thing is, is they have ex they do explain it to the best they can on their website, but port forwarding is so dependent on like your ISP and your router and like you just kind of need to have an understanding of internet that I don't have, you know. I just I just want to play Minecraft. Uh, yeah, well, I think that's why they have realms. Like I know yeah. I know people say you know oh they're just trying to make money off of something you can do for free, but it is there because like. It's so there's an. Like, so they can make money off it, so they did. I mean, oh yeah, it's like it's there so they can be a better online like solution, multiplayer solution. Oh yeah, that's account. right. I, I don't think I've used the trial for my account on a, on thing. It's just a shame that there isn't a lot of. I got a free uh, bedrock it... realm when I tuned into like one. Oh damn, when I tuned into Minecraft's Twitch stream once. Oh cool. <laughs> they like give stuff away in chat. Like, just like keys for stuff and feel there early. And I was there early. Cool. These fire I guys. Mean, I mean, so I think I have like a two week, like, free Minecraft round thing. Eh, it's probably not worth it, to be honest. I mean, like, that trial. I mean, I had a realm for a while and I remember, like, no one played on it. <gasps> I mean, just I just want to do like Minecraft maps, but there just isn't a lot of ones that are recently made. Yeah, that's also the problem with realms, I guess, is that it it can only be it only supports the latest. Yeah. Whereas you can have a server for whatever Minecraft version you want. I don't know. I think my older brother has sort of an understanding of Minecraft, like of port forwarding and stuff. I want to see if I can ask him, ask him. a lot a bit. Yeah, I, I think. think The thing is, it's like last time I try and do it, I can't even just like I have trouble just finding the port forwarding menu on my router and then it's like Yeah, like, no, it's so <laughs> unbelievably difficult. And I know there are tools you can get that kind of sort of port forward for you, but I don't really trust downloading something to like mess with my browser. Like not yeah, my no, browser, I like get my that. actual I get that. router and stuff. That's what I call the funny monkey. But are you funky Kong? Ah! Sorry. Yes. Just 
Sorry, I just I went gamer mode for a sec, you know. So, uh, so you uh, suddenly hate women and minorities? Well, that's me every day, but yeah. Yeah, that's me, but unironically. Yeah, but dude, me, but unironic and true. What? Well, they keep just dropping like barrels of oil everywhere I go. What a bunch of cucks. What a bunch of SJW cucks. Cultural Marxists. I these soy boys are are go are going to be the death of me. These femboys are going to be the death of me. They are going to make me come to death. I am I am uh, appreciative of the femboys. I love them. It genuinely wouldn't surprise me. If he had a huge double standard for. Yeah. Anything that he likes is uh, pure and wholesome, but anything he doesn't like is degenerate. Anything he likes is based and bread pilled. Don't, don't, don't talk about each former guy like that. They're just dr like dropping literal bombs on me just because there's a funky monkey in their like vicinity. It's me. Some of these people. Oh, same, same word. Some of these people can't just can't get along with the funky monkey, and like that's a problem. Oh my, funky monkey oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No! Sorry, I'm getting gamer raged at monkey game. We shouldn't do a Balloon's Tower Defense video. <laughs> but it's just the original. We should play Insane Aquarium. I own it. <laughs> that game's fun. We should play Plants vs. Zombies. I also own it. That game is incredibly fun. You should play Peggle competitively. They're dropping actual ass bombs on me. Like, what the crap, game developers? That's not realistic. What were they thinking? Um, developers, I, I don't know what you were thinking when you designed this stupid game, but but uh, but that's not what it would happen in real life. Okay, I think the strat is to just look, f yeah, look for like the indoor parts and just stick to those. Super Mario 16. Super Mario in real life. Spaghetti. Did you see the sequel that, that kid made? And when no. he was like a, a full grown adult and he became this like full on like Marxist uwu gay guy. Aww. It wasn't, it, it wasn't cute at all. It's one of those real, like, sweaty people who you can tell would just absolutely hate anyone who doesn't say, like, anything that, you know, isn't just like what they think. Ugh, I need to install the resource pack. You need to install Counter-Strike Source. <laughs> source. God damn it. <coughs> Not again. Super uh, Mario 16. I was playing Gmod, like, the other day. Oh, yeah? I, like, I, it was, like, literally one of the first times I've actually properly played Gmod. What did you think <coughs> of it? It was good. It was pretty fun. Played a bit of Trouble in Terrace Town. Oh, yeah. You hit Yogg's Cast? Yeah, we played on some of those sick Minecraft maps, you know. Hell yeah! I made like a like a sh like I killed a bunch of Hatsune Miku NPCs and then made like some real modern art with it. Looks pretty hot. Oh my god! I'm on a boat. Yo, they put they put the monkey on a boat, dude. This is this is sick. Why isn't the resource pack loading? Why isn't the lowest loading? You know. Shut up, shut up, just shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Nightmare, shut nightmare, up. nightmare, nightmare. They drugged the monkey. Well, that was actually a really oh. cool transition. Well, that was. I'm sick. Dude, what if there's like more monkeys on here and I get to team up with the monkeys? If I made like a if I if I had like a team of funky monkeys to take down these these bastards, I would actually this game would be a ten out of ten genuinely. Monkey <sighs> team fighting. Oh, we should do a Katana Zero Let's Play. We should. And actually, it's kind of too similar to this game in format. 
Yeah, but it's cooler. But not monkey cooler. I mean, I wouldn't see it. Come on, this game has monkey, so I don't know about that. Yeah, that's why I said it was cooler, not monkey cooler. Yeah. It's kind of in that same vein of, like, Hotline Miami-esque, where it's just sort of, like, level and repeat it until you get it right and really low, like, respawn times. Really low key gangster. <laughs> yeah, low-key yeah, gangster. Oh, oh my god, I'm going up now. I was going down before, now I'm up. Yep. I've never yes. actually seen the movie Up. Really? Yeah. It was just, like, never something that I watched. Okay. There are a lot of, like, I haven't seen... I mean, I know a lot of people also haven't seen The Princess of the Frog, because it's, like, kind of a weirdly underrated Disney movie that sort of came out in this, like, weird space where, like, 2D was, like, basically dead at this point, and they sort of tried to make one last thing, and it didn't really work, but... Uh, I want to watch The Princess and the Frog. It looks like a good movie. I think it's like that and like a Winnie the Pooh movie where like their last Disney's like last two D animated movies. Yeah. Because John Lasseter uh, is an awful person. But what a surprise! Oh my god, this is so terrifying! Too many guns! Oh! oh I was so close as well. I think what I like about this game is that it doesn't introduce really anything out like that much new to you. In terms of like, you never get... New yeah. mechanics. Yeah, it's always, it's just kind of expanding on, on like, what the monkey, you know, what the monkey fights, like, throughout it. It's not giving you, it's like... It's enemy type, it's not player. It's not giving you, like, a monkey dash, or, like, a monkey teleport. Yeah, you can... It's like, here's monkey the monkey... Monkey Yeah. It, it's basically like, here's the monkey, it can grab and throw people, now play the game. Go play the game, plebeian. Give you the monkey rotation. Rotate the ape. Ape rotate. Ape rotate. Oh, oh my name's not Pape. That, that's gonna be the new ape escape, ape rotate. Yeah. I'm currently in a minecart. Exploring a dungeon. Nice. Yeah. It'd be nice if I was with friends, but I'm not. What a damn shame. What yeah. a monkey shame. If we were friends, we could have been like the Bayesian Canadian in Skyda's Minecraft, you know? Yeah, we, we should make a video like that. <laughs> like, like a proper, that'd be actually funny. Like a proper, like, 2013 <laughs> hey Minecraft. Guys. Just, uh, hey guys! Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm with my friend, and we're back in Minecraft. Today, we're going to be playing Sky Wars. My, my, um, like, when, when I was in primary school, I never watched that side of Minecraft YouTube. I was more on, like, the Snappy Long Nose type thing, but I had friends who were, and, uh, and what, they were like, bro, you're, like, you could be, like, the Banjo-Canadian. <laughs> You have to make that joke. You have to. And it's like, well, yeah. If we did it, I would definitely be the banjo Canadian. I don't think. I think that goes without saying. I'd be Pi does Minecraft. You'd be Sky does Brown Bricks. No, I prefer Pi does Minecraft. Hey everybody, I'm here with my good friend Inspector Gadget. Do we still a video up. like that, like a Mike Shut the Day up. Inspector Gadget video? Shut up. He's Shut a nerd, up. and I hate nerds more than I hate mad agents. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Using my deduction skills as a detective, I can say that that man has quite possibly never had sex. Yes. Seems a lot more like monkey see, monkey do than flexing creative energy, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> like, less like less like monkey see, monkey do, more like monkey see, monkey poo. Nice! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's funny. Yes! Monkey poo! Ichiro, I've realized now that it'll never work between us. Not because you're a rabbit, but because you're oh, black. Because you're black. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ghost Troy is so good. D2. C1, A4, B3. Game Jam. Game, dude, we should do it. We should do like a mock Game Jam, but we call it a Gay Jam. I was about to say that, and I'm just like, <laughs> no, that would be terrible. I would. You wouldn't be down be for really hard for a gay jam. It's just like a regular game jam, but you have to make gay games. Who's that greedy? So um, want to become a sex worker with me, Connor? Okay. All right, we've got that on on record now. Now we can cancel you because you've uh, you've been in, you just said you're in support of of, of pedophilic acts. I don't- I don't get this Twitter diss. I was just making a funny cancel culture bad joke. Do you get the reference? Yeah. I hear that everything now is just blank culture. More like society culture, am I right, ladies so and true. gentlemen? So true. Honestly, I think you should become, like, a political commentator. Yeah, okay. I think it would work. Like an ironic one, though. Like, you know, like, ironic political content, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, it's like, it's like, it's like political commentary, but it, like, it's lay irony. Irony. Did you know that drugs are funny? Yes. And kids do drugs? Yes.